All right, welcome back everybody. Uh, this tutorial is going to be the roasted cauliflower tutorial. And roasted cauliflower is a vegan treat. Um, it's very uh, delicious and it's something that even non-vegans enjoy a lot. So on this Thanksgiving day in 2020, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you just step-by-step step how to take a head of cauliflower and turn it into a delicious um, treat and part of your meal. So there's a lot of things you can do with cauliflower and I haven't quite decided if I'm going to uh, take the plunge and also make barbecue cauliflower, but this is an organic head of cauliflower and I really think it's important to have organic just because um, you reduce the amount of pesticides and chemicals that you're exposed to. So I'm just going to remove the stalk portion by hand a little bit. And I also have my knife here, which I'm going to utilize as well. Um, so this is unrinsed so far. I am going to be rinsing it. So first thing is just get in there and remove the stalk. Some people might keep that. Um, I don't, I, I like to use, when I'm using um, broccoli, I like to keep the broccoli stalks and use it. So um, one way of getting in there, you can kind of get your knife in there and do a circular kind of angle and that frees up all the cauliflower. So I've got it angled being careful not to, uh, you know, just practicing some safety here. And it's okay if there's a little bit of green on there, that's actually good. Um, there's the rest of my stalk. So I'm gonna be making um, broccoli florets here. And really the um, materials I'm using are just three things. I've got my casserole dish, which I'm going to place the broccoli in. This is my really cool Pyrex dish. I'm a big fan of Pyrex. Um, I've got my rinsing bowl with my fresh spring water, uh, which I'm going to be throwing the florets into. And finally, I have a large Tupperware. This is oh, actually Rubbermaid container. And this is kind of the fun part and it's also important. Um, you want something big enough to hold all the cauliflower uh, and we'll see why in a moment. So uh, I've got my oven at 350 and the uh, tofurkey's in there actually. So you can make the florets as large or as small as you want. Here's a little small one. I'm gonna just toss that in to the water. So we're gonna be rinsing those. And really it's totally up to you how big you want them. You know, they're very hearty. Now, if they're too big, they won't, well, they'll take longer to roast. So I might cut a couple of these in half. And it's just kind of fun. Just use your best judgment, you know, like happy little florets. They look like little clouds or trees. And uh, yeah, so like I said, there is a little bit green there and that's okay. That's, that's just part of the stalk. It's not gonna hurt you. You can take it off if you want. And it's all right to have some larger florets too, if you want. I'm gonna show you my floret bowl here. All right, so I've got pretty big hands, but this is maybe, I don't know. Big bite. So let's go ahead and cut this one in half. And here's our last one. So I mentioned that you can make a number of different kinds of roasted cauliflower. Uh, I'm just going to rinse this. Now, this is going to be, you can make buffalo cauliflower. Uh, you can make barbecue cauliflower. I think I'm just gonna do a regular uh, roasted cauliflower for today. Uh, just cause, you know, if you're in the mood for buffalo cauliflower or you're watching football, go ahead and make that. 
So this is where the, kind of the fun part comes in. And my ingredients that I have here, uh, your main ingredient is your organic olive oil. This is your extra virgin olive oil. So um, I like to have organic again. This is a really nice bottle. It's a good size. And you're gonna wanna coat the cauliflower with the olive oil. Another important part of this is your Himalayan sea salt. So this is a kosher vegan certified um, non-GMO. So I really like this fine grain salt and I've got, I put it into my vintage Pyrex salt shaker. So it comes out of those little grooves when I'll shake it. I've also got my onion powder. It's gonna add some extra flavor. The black pepper is important too. Uh, it's my organic black pepper and also have my garlic granules. So um, I can go ahead and take the florets out of the water and I'm going to put them into my shaker. I guess I'll call it my Rubbermaid shaker container. All right. So the olive oil you want to apply fairly liberally and you'll see what I mean. So I'm just going to get a nice drizzle in there. Um, I'm not really holding back. I'm not doing too much. And the reason is, is because you really want to coat the cauliflower with the olive oil. So you can see why we have a shaker and why we'll have a lid in a moment. And uh, it's important to also salt the cauliflower. And we're gonna go ahead and just be real liberal with that too. And with the, the pepper. And you will be amazed at how amazing this is when it's done. Got my onion powder. And it's okay if you put a little bit too much. Uh, we're gonna shake it up. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of garlic. I don't think I want a lot of garlic, but just a little bit. All right, so it already smells really good. All right, and I like this one because it's got this airtight seal. So. This is what we're doing, we're shaking. And what that does is it really distributes the olive oil. And it's okay to add a little bit more if you want. Um, I see a pretty good coating. I'm just gonna do a touch more, not too much. Uh, just maybe put some on the edge there. Cause again, we really wanna get this nice coated. And the reason is, is the olive oil is what helps the cauliflower cook and roast. And a lot of people would typically use a pan. Uh, I am going to be using a casserole dish just because my pan is out of order. So really, I'm just going to pop it all in there and you know it's got a nice coating there and you can just put it in open like that um kind of creates a mess with your uh shaker but that's okay and ideally you want them spread out but i'm going to be rotating these which is okay and i will come back in about uh, 45 minutes to show you the final result happy thanksgiving <laughs>